Earth, copy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this edition of Now Space News for the week ending Saturday, July 23rd, 2022. Got a few more headlines for you today uh, that I've collected over the week. We'll be talking about them as well as the meme of the week. And then another new segment, which I've decided to call uh, Cognitive Conjecture, which is basically, um, I'll just pull something off of YouTube or something, and uh, it's one of those things where people are talking crazy. So you won't want to miss that. That's at the end here. Our first headline of the evening is... Well, you can see what it's about. It's quite obviously an opinion, which means no pinning contract. My body, my choice. There's never been a better example of adverb, verb, adverb, verb that I've ever seen. Uh, this headline reads, if you're against abortion, then why are you against contraception? How does killing a solution to a problem make it any better well if we're looking at it you know like a copy editor would in the fiction adverb verb adjective pronoun babble and there's a reason why it's called opinion and at the top you see it says the way we see it sense and nonsense so I'm pretty sure this is from a website called the independent so they're making it clear that it's opinion and it's nonsense, which is exactly what this is, because it's a it's a there's a there's a logical fallacy built into that. Um, see if you can guess what it is. You can put it in the comments section. Uh, but if you've ever studied the trivium method, you'll know what I'm talking about. There are a number of logical fallacies, and uh, actually there are two logical fallacies: one in the first sentence and one in the second sentence. As you can see, we have adverb, verb, adverb, verb. Then we have a comma. And because that comma is there, it's a break and it continues the evidence. And then the next section starts with a pronoun followed by adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. Then adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun in the future tense. Adverb, adjective, adjective, pronoun, adverb, and dangling participle verb. And that's about all there is to say about that. Next headline. Company claims woman received job rejection saying her name is too ghetto because of hacking. The company is adamant that the email was sent from a hacker. The company claims the rejection email was sent by a hacker Facebook Hermesia Robinson. So I just I guess just because the, the woman's name was Hermesia, uh, they thought they were being hacked. So we got a whole bunch of adjectives, including one in the past tense, which are all coloring one another. To end the sentence, coloring the tangible contract saying into a pronoun, and then as we know. Nothing can follow a pronoun except for a break in the continuance of the evidence or, in this case, an adverb, which is modifying name into an adjective. And then we have a pronoun. Then we have quotations. Actually, we have apostrophes on either sides of two ghetto, but they've decided to use them as quotations. So perhaps the independent better work on, you know, maybe getting a more educated uh copy editor. So because we have a space after is and a space before because and then we have the quotations or apostrophes, that's a break in the continuance of the evidence because it's excessive spacing. So we're starting again with a pronoun and then we have adverb and then we have a dangling participle verb hacking. Next one comes from the French press adverb adjective pronoun the dispatch adverb verb culture wars end with consequences let's read that again culture wars 
end with consequences. Reality always gets a vote and reality always wins. Hmm. So we have culture, which is adjective, coloring wars into an adjective, which is coloring and into a pronoun, which is followed by an adverb, which is modifying consequences into a dangling participle verb. I'm not sure that the French press at the dispatch are cognizant of what a war is. In wars, people die. There are casualties. It's very violent. It's horrible. So I don't think they know what it is they're referring to. But if we're going to look at this objectively, doesn't everything end with a consequence? Whether it's a war, uh, a movie, life. <laughs> they have a tremendous grasp of the obvious over there at the dispatch, except when it comes to what a war is. Next headline, Vienna Show Spotlights Rothschild Dynasty Conspiracy Theories. This is also from The Independent. And we have a bunch, a whole bunch of adjectives uh, coming in at the end to color theories into a pronoun. Um, not much to say about this one except for, you know, that the trigger word Rothschild. Uh, interesting thing, a conspiracy in the modern sense, people try and use it in a derogatory negative sense. I mean, really, it's just there's always been conspiracies and there always will be. I mean, what is it? If you, if you look at the earliest nativity root meanings of the particles of the word conspiracy, you find out what it means. And in any case, it doesn't matter because in the way it's used now, it's just, it's just a couple people getting together to create a common goal to achieve at the exclusion of everyone else. So, for example, if you and your family call each other during the week and decide to get together to go have a picnic, you're excluding everyone else. You're not including everyone else. Not everyone benefits from your picnic. In fact, some people might actually be harmed by your picnic. Some creatures, you know. What if you rent out a pavilion at a park and now some kid, you know, kid, my goodness, some child who plays there every Saturday, now suddenly can't play there because you're having your party there. Now you broke this child's heart, you see? So conspiracy, they happen. And you take part in them. As do I, and as do the Rothschilds. Next one comes from Democracy Now! With Congress unwilling to act, pressure grows on Biden to declare national climate emergency. Congress is unwilling to act, huh? Well, maybe they should get a professional actor like uh, I bet Johnny they can get Johnny Depp at a discount now, maybe, since he's climbing his way back up, right? Um, pressure grows on Biden. I'm not sure that geezer can take very much pressure, very much more pressure, or if he's aware of the pressure to declare national climate emergency. So it's a national climate emergency. Isn't that something you can just take care of by dialing 911? I mean, can, can Biden count to 10? So we got adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, future tense, uh, verb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb, adverb in the future tense, adjective, 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 and a pronoun. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, sentences and word groups can only end on verbs or pronouns. Why is that? Because ones and threes, adverbs and adjectives, are modifiers. They wouldn't be at the end of the sentence because there's nothing left to modify. So sentences will either end on twos or fours, verbs or pronouns. Next headline comes from Alternate. Is Earth capable of sustaining 8 billion people? That's an interesting thing because if they're concerned about 8 billion people, 
I mean, I remember Colin David Ivan Colin Miller once told me that Earth had 10 billion people on it, and 5 billion of those people were his students. So either we've had one heck of a, a population purge since 2018, or there's something rotten in Denmark. Adjective, adjective, pronoun, adverb, adjective, 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 pronoun. Now it's time to move on to the meme of the week. Okay, let's move on to the new segment, uh, Cognitive Conjecture. So this comes from something I found where people are making predictions. Now this was published, when was this published? Uh, I guess you have to take my word for it. This was just published this week. Um, you can find it. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can check the date uh, since I can't find it here. Um, but this is one of those videos that makes predictions about specific things on specific dates. For example, the title of the video is Trump will be reinstated on August 22nd. Okay. Well, in any case, let's listen to a little bit of how, uh, shall we? Hello, Patriots. I am at Restored Republic via AGCR as of July 18th. Yes, I'm aware that they're... By Judy Byington. The words are not Sunday, synced July 17th, with the mouth. Checkmate, a rebirth of our nation. And there's a link to a 107 interview. 17 hours left to midnight, Sunday, July 17th, a week is ahead. It's getting dark. It will get darker. It will be hard for you if you don't prepare. And that's from The Survivor. On Monday, July 18th. Ladies and gentlemen, has it gotten harder for you since uh, Sunday the 17th? Being that today is the 23rd. Trains to stop running due to strike. Trains are st to stop running due to strike. Everybody notice the train stopping? And that's today, so <clears throat> we'll see what happens with that. On Sunday, July 17th, the San Francisco airport was evacuated. A quote, it's not Joe anymore, Donald J. Trump. Flynn is running the show. Biden and Clinton were executed. Oh, Biden and Clinton were executed. Say no more. There's your cognitive conjecture for the week. Well, that wraps it up for this week's edition of the Now Space News. Thanks for joining me. As always, you can leave questions, comments in the comments field. Let me know what you like to see, if you, if you like what you do see. Now, specifically, you know, syntax knowledge is available in the syntax playlist on this very YouTube channel. So check that out if you want more information on why I put the little numbers above the words. Um, cheers to everyone out there. Um, if you're curious, curious as to what, uh, what the drink of choice is, I'll tell you next time. And I'll even tell you how to make it um, if I get enough uh, kuleana. Remember, there are two tiers of membership on this YouTube channel if you'd like to support what I do. Um, the first tier is just for those that just want to say thank you and the second tier is for a little bit more serious people and you get exclusive live streams and exclusive content uh, that that's not available to the general public but to the general public of course we have almost 400 correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar videos on this channel that you're more than welcome to study the only thing it costs is your now space so again, that about does it. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Peace.